Alright, part two. We're gonna be doing paper mache. So, I said earlier how it was gonna get messy. And I won't lie. We're gonna make some paper mache. If you don't know how, I'm gonna show you real fast. It's simple. I'm doing the flour water mixture, not the uh, glue and water. And I don't have any newspaper, so I'm using printer paper. I would prefer using printer paper, I mean, uh, newspaper because it's lightweight and stuff, and printer paper might not work. So, hold up. Okay, I went and get some, conscri some, <laughs> some construction paper because it's got the same um, texture as newspaper. So use construction paper if you don't have newspaper. So what you're going to start off with doing is you're going to take one cup of water and one cup of flour. I don't have two measuring cups, so I've measured one cup of water in here and poured it into here. So you're going to need flour and water, one cup of each, a big bowl, a spoon, and your mold. So pour the flour in and the water. Pour the flour first and not the water. Then mix. you'll have consistency of kind of like watered down cake batter. So now, here comes the messy part. Let me lay down some protection real quick on my floor. Hold up. Because you don't want paper mache on your floor or desk or wherever you're doing this at. Alright, I laid down some paper. We're gonna take a mask. Start off with is doing take your strip, dip it into the paper mache, That's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do a couple of different coats. 
So, yeah. Just as many coats as you think you want. I think six is what I'm going to do. So, yeah. I'll see you in part three of this video in a couple of days. But, um, until then, I think I'm going to end up doing, uh, my fear gauntlet tutorial finally so yeah see you then